Should we just pretend we didn't hear that? Yeah. Hello and welcome back to Car Throttle. My name is Alex. I'm Jack. I'm Ethan. And today we're going to do an epic challenge video with this week's sponsor, Vex Gaming and their partners, Logitech G, who want to show off their brand new Logitech G923 True Force Sim Racing Wheel and Pedal Box, which is available for Xbox, PS4 and PC. Do you know what they are? They're rigs. Rigs? Gaming rigs. You put a CD in and then it plays a game. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Anyway, <laughs> I've got a video message from the guys. So what do you say we take a look and then find out more details? You ready? Let's do it. Gather in. Hey guys, Richard Jaxler here, sim racing driver for Vex Gaming and McLaren Velo Virtual Champion. Anyway, I had a few grand spare, so I thought I'd challenge you to a race since I've heard you're a top driver. I'll give you a budget of £2,000 to find a car and beat my virtual lap around Cadwell Park. I won't use anything too fancy, and to make it fair, I'll even let you come up to Manchester and take my Logitech G923 True Force for a spin to learn the track. And I'll even give your viewers a chance to win a Logitech G923 wheel and pedal set for either Xbox, PS4 or PC. I'll text you the link to put down below. Good luck and I'll see you there. Wicked. So let me get this right. I'm going to be racing around Cadwell Park in a car that we buy today mm -hmm. for £2,000 while he's going to be in something we don't quite know, but it's not going to be too flashy. He'll give us yeah. the details later. Also, for you guys, as Richard said, you're going to win this. Well, not this, it's an empty box, but you will uh, win the contents of the box. Let's go, boys. Come on. So Richard yeah. is setting a virtual lap yeah. around Cadwell Park yeah. in the G36. So we're looking at 200 horsepower. Jack, why do you look like that? You look very perturbed. No, I'm just concerned. Oh, OK. Yeah. I'm going to be driving something that we find today for £2,000. Yeah. So our choices, please, just run us through quickly, Ethan. I'm thinking hired like Coupe. Very good, uh, like it. MX-5. Oh, perfect. Um, MR2. Yeah. Uh, None of these cars have more than 140 horsepower. Maybe the Mark 7 Celica, the 1.8 VVTLI, 190 horsepower in those. A Golf? A Golf GTI. Is that a good one? Yes. Yeah, maybe like, maybe a Mark V. Mark V. Yours, yours was Mark V. Mine was Mark V, yeah. yeah. But we can't use yours. No. Because it's not currently on the road. No. Potentially Clio 172. A 182. I think 182s are out of our price range. Okay. I think they're maybe like two and a half or so. I literally have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> it's just numbers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get you're like the shittest range. <laughs> yeah, yeah. RX-8. Oh. Dangerous. Yeah. Very dangerous. We only need it for one lap. Yeah, but we just need the engine to be good, full stop. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And the chances are it might not be that good. Oh, look at that, snap. TT. Yeah. Oh, look at your TT. Look, my... look, look at your TT. Are you looking at each other's TTs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 3.2 DSG. Really? It's a 3.2 V6? Yeah. This is two and a half grand. It's got 85,000 miles on it. Something's a miss. Oh, right. Gearbox sometimes takes two or three tries to go and drive. Once in drive, it drives spot on. Oh. Uh, I have here a Celica 190, 137,500 miles, 1,750 quid. How about that? Ooh, we like that. Oh, smart. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Offside front tyre worn close to legal limit. Offside rear tyre worn close to legal limit. Near side front McPherson strut modified but not seriously weakened. Bump stop damaged in capital letters. If we want to get good tyres, it's probably going to cost us 150 pounds. It's also going to cost us a lot of time because we're going to Cadwell tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, we can't do this. No. Mm. Oh, look at this. You might not go quick, but you look pretty badass. Oh, oh, when that's sort of sticking up as well. Oh, Oof. oh, what about that? Jaguar XJ, four litre Sovereign. <laughs> Sounds fast. Looks really fast. Yeah. I've just found a really, really nice 2004 Renault Clio 172 Sport. Pirelli tyre, new disc and pads all round in immaculate condition. Strong colour. Oh, oh wow. wow. Small problem. What's that? Over budget. Buy. £1,300. <laughs> I've just found the car. Have you? Oh, that's cool. Shall we all close laptops? Yeah, yeah should we go? Say yeah. Leon Cupra R. That's actually a great shout. Two yeah. grand. Rossi sticker. Yeah. It's yellow. A Rossi sticker. Or it's got a track sticker on the back. Perfect. Does it say the tyres are good? Uh, it says they exist. Clio RS 172, need gone today. When did you upload that? Uh, listed a week ago. This is good. Yeah? Well, it's not good. No, it's terrible. But, oh. but it's a good deal. Yeah. 1,400 quid. Not only do you get a Sport, Ignis, you also get 
a trailer to take <gasps> it to the track with. Oh, I really want a trailer. That's probably worth about a grand. Probably is. Another Renault Clio 172 Cup. The car is built for track day use, but does have a valid MOT. Oh. Only issue is, it's a grand over budget. I'm what have that. you set your filter to? I don't on Facebook. I just want everything. Okay. Just want it all. You're greedy. I just want to be in a room with cameras and just all of it to be surrounding me and just to be center of attention and just like. You don't strike me as that sort of person. Really? Yeah. Oh, I've got a Clio. 180 horsepower. Is it 182? 1450. Uh, oh, requires mechanical and body work. Can you read that before you get our hopes up, please? This is a 182. Talk to it's me. It's a little bit over budget. It's 225. Yep. But all right, what's wrong with it? 111,000 miles. I have come to the end of my search. <laughs> what else have we got? There's got to be loads of cars that we're missing. I thought this one was going to be easy. We've got two grand. Yeah, but we need close to 200 horsepower. That's the issue. I need to have good tyres and it needs to be ready to go tomorrow. Let me check this. Oh. So we have nothing. Well, get something, don't worry. I've got, I'm sat on something right here, just give me a minute. Oh. You never have anything. No, this yeah, is true. Oh, what were you on, what were you on You always points? have like a... I've got more points than you. Shut your mouth, you that's a lie. It's not a lie though, is it? You always have like a short list of 20 and then you never call any of them. It's got 60 days of MOT. All right, we only need one day. So I'm still very suspect. 182 for 2250 is going to be dog shit. Minor oil leak. We just need enough oil to, for the day. <laughs> as long as it holds most of it. That looks good. That's a, oh, that's that's a like great one, looking car. That's the same as one I found. Yeah, except this one has an MOT oh. and doesn't look like shit. <laughs> Do you want to call him? Yeah, I can call him. Hello, mate. You're right. I've just seen your um, Clio 182 on Gumtree. Is it all right? Run all right? Stop all right? Yeah, absolutely fine, yeah. So what, what are the tyres like, uh, generally, all round? Um, yeah, on the front it's got uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 3s uh, up the front, and then on the back more of a budget brand, but um, still got good tread left. Engine, gearbox, clutch, all working well. A bit of a strange question. Do you reckon it would fare well on being bashed around a track? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what, it'd probably be alright, actually. Um, the cam belt and horse bump have been done on this one. Um, it's got a RAM air panel filter as well, so it should be, yeah, it should be alright for you. Okay, excellent. I, I see you go up for 225. I've got a really strict budget of around two grand. If we come down and have a look at it and it all looks, it all, looks all right, would that be uh, okay with you? Are you interested in that? Um, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, excellent. Okay, I think the next thing for us to do is come down and have a, have a look at it then. Perfect. Great, Cheers. nice one. Cheers, thank you. Sold. I'm sorry. Can no. we just clarify? We haven't seen the car. Oh yeah, true. Sounds good. He sounds nice. We like the sound of him. Mm. But could be dog shit. Okay, yeah. I mm. mean, if it is dog shit, we can always fall back on one of your options. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Pilot Sport 3s. Threes. So they're quite old, but they are got I mean, enough on there, haven't they? They've got a fair amount of meat. Yeah. Cadwell is a very, very difficult and very harsh track. Is it? So these tyres better hold up. Classic clouded headlights that Clio suffer with. It's got a Ram Air sticker, so maybe it's actually got a Ram Air wow. induction kit, which will be good. I think these are plastic. Are they? Oh. Look at that! Definitely are. That's amazing. Oh my God, look, oh, you can actually properly like, push that in. This has got cruise control, doesn't it? So it's quite a well-spec one, which is obscure. That's going to work against us though, isn't it? It'll be a bit heavier with added spec. Well, it just means I can relax a bit more when I'm Cadwell. <laughs> cruise control. <laughs> Please get cruise control with Cadwell, it'll be amazing. <laughs> Springs are not snapped, which is good. There's not a lot of rust under there. So a little look in this boot. Oh, let's do that. Oh, goodies. Oh, oh look, original wheel. There we go. Sound system. Yeah, bass, extra bass. So you can play that new Cardi B song, WAP. Have you guys heard that? No. It's such a good song. And bring a bucket and a mop. Oh. We've got loads of history. Oh, wow. That's a lot of history though, isn't it? Look. Yeah. Does it actually match up to this car though? It's for Passat. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get the man to check it over. You're the man. What? You're the man. For what? You've got to do the milk test. You know. Got to get the milkman in. Yeah. <laughs> Would you mind? Checking the oil filler cap. Everyone is waiting. Heath, you're right. Yeah. Okay. I can't even see the dipstick. I can. Well, we're looking at it. <laughs> it's somewhere else, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It's not in here. I'm pointing at it. Uh, can we have some lift music? Oh, there's the dipstick. Oh. Um, the filler cap is. Yeah. Right. Well, it's got to be. <gasps> Can I pull that? I don't know, just, can you? Just tug it. <gasps> Get some! Very good. Oh, that's very good, isn't it? That's really good. Do we like that? Yeah. That's quite smart, isn't it? I've always thought all filler caps, they're too unsightly. That's in the little inspection hole. It's a little little bit way Just a little bit of oil. Should we just gloss over that? Bit? Yeah. Because like I said, pretty much we've got to buy this car no matter what. Yeah. Should we see if it starts? Does it smell? Does it smell? Well, it smells of these disgusting air fresheners. You don't like them, do you? You're not a fan them. of air fresheners. I hate them. these things. It's all right. Sounded a little bit lumpy. Yeah. Sold. <laughs> right? Now you can say it, yeah. Yeah, now I can say it. Another little tip. Tip. This is going to be very good. Check for leaks in the exhaust. I think there might be a little blow somewhere. Because yeah. it's not pushing back too hard. For a two grand car, if all is well, then jobs are good. And this is probably one of the best bang for buck cars that you can actually buy. I know I say it a lot, but two grand for someone like this, they drive brilliantly. Speaking of which, shall we try it? Yes. Kick it. All right, Jack, here we are. Car of my dreams. Car of our dreams. They're all your dreams. They are all my dreams. Um, first things first, sorry, you, you probably can only see trees. Yeah, get, get Should we get that. rid of all this? Yeah. Get yeah. Three. Two, two and one. There we go. First impressions, driving position is really bad. It's not great. Yeah, I feel like I'm sitting really upright and really high. It's moving. It is moving. That was a big bump. There were no knocks. Turns. Turns. Yeah, I feel like I'm on a racetrack already. I do really, really like these cars. You don't see many on the road, do you? No. They're all tucked away for future investments because this is going to be a modern classic at some point, isn't Absolutely it? Absolutely right. Now, these cars have got a two litre 16 valve, 182 horsepower. 0 to 60, around 6.9 seconds, top speed 139 miles an hour. Oh, that induction sounds good. Yeah. Oh, it wants to be thrash, it's telling me. <laughs> Speaking to me. <laughs> thrash me. <Yeah. laughs> Don't worry, you'll get a bloody good thrashing. You'll get a bloody good hiding. <laughs> That's oh, good. Oh, yes. That feels lovely. You've got to do well in this. You've got to do well in this. <laughs> right, so plan is, go back to James, Pay the man two grand, and then uh, we'll head to Rent Studios, yep. and then get this bad boy liveried up. Sound good? Sounds good. Let's do it. Kick it! Kick it!
Right, so there you have it. Our Clio 182 is now officially a race car. It looks amazing. It looks Thank great. It looks great, indeed. Thank <laughs> you very much to Jim. Thank you very much to Wrench Studios for actually allowing us to do it. Well, not allowing us, just doing it, getting on with it, cracking on. It looks great. Um, there is one thing, though. Yeah. There's a number on it. It is completely meaningless to me, but apparently it has some meaning. Oh, so your race number? My race number of 11. I, yeah. don't, I don't get it, so please explain. Well, you are a former racing driver, aren't you? I am. Yeah. Yes. In sort of one series, just one and done. I don't know if you remember, but your best ever finish in that series was 11th. Was it? Was it really? Yeah, yeah. So oh, I mean, wow. you, you've never made the top 10. So you can always be reminded of that. Perfect. Well, thank you very much. That's uh, hurtful, but yet yeah, strangely fitting. <laughs> anyway, we've got a long way to go because we've got to drive to Manchester where we're going to be doing, well, seeing the sim racer. So we need to get going. So shall we crack on? Let's do it. All right, I'm going to get my race car. You get in your Skoda Croc. Okay. You be comfortable. I will be. I'm going to be race car. Today is D-Day and I am joined by Rich Yaxley from Vexed Gaming. Now Rich, I understand you're a little bit handy, so tell me a bit about that. Yeah, so recently I competed in the McLaren Velo Challenge against Carlos Sainz and Zach Brown of McLaren F1. I came out on top of that one, so... So you've actually beaten F1 drivers? I have. Okay, so my chances today... I'd say little to none. Little to none, but mm. I will probably win the prize for the biggest crash. I'm claiming it already. You can have that one, I don't want it. Right, so because we're expecting some rain at Cadwell Park later, we have endowed you, Rich, with some proper rain as well. Full manual gearbox as Full well. Full manual, yeah. So you guys don't cry in the comments saying, oh, he's doing auto, because I'm going to be manual as well. So the only thing left to do is for you to, uh, to crack on and set those laps. Remember, you have three laps. Three the first laps. one's kind of going to be a sighting laps, and then you've got your fast laps. Yeah. So when you're ready. I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Oh, it's really wet there, isn't it? It's very wet. We don't want any drifting heroics here. How's the car feeling, Rich? It's feeling very twitchy. twitchy. <laughs> well, you've gone for a third gear, have you? You got enough torque in that GT86? Yeah. All right. I would have gone for first gear there. Just a little tip from one racing driver to another. Oh, this looks very tidy, Rich. I cannot wait for you to screw it up. Oh, little hot air balloons. You see those? How many do you count there? How long does it take you to grow a beard like that? Uh, the entirety of lockdown. I've been working on mine. The He's still going. Now, yeah. What do you think? Keep going. Got a bit of growth there. Second gear here, Rich. No, always third. One hand. No, you leave it there. Right. Right, now you really want to back off the pace here. Back it down. Slow it down. Ease off the throttle. Hard on the brake. Whack it in. And what is the best time that you've ever got on this game in the dry? In the dry, we're looking at a 142. 142? 142. Thank God it's raining at Cadwell today. Right, so that first lap was a two minutes, four seconds. So whatever lap times you get, if I beat that, that means that I'm also faster than an F1 racing driver. By all means, you can tell yourself that, yeah. I'll take it. This is faster. But by how much? Oh God, that's a lot faster. That's very disappointing. 155, 288. Oh, 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 what's gonna happen here? Oh, oh my God. Oh. <gasps> Has he saved it? No. He's not. Thank you, Rich. I was happy with the 155. Well, I'm gonna be happy if I don't end up on my roof, to be honest. Now I'm gonna head to the track and try my best. And I'm very glad that you're not gonna be in the car with me or anywhere near me. I'm glad to. You're actually not allowed to leave this building. You're locked oh. in place. Anyway, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Good night. Oh God, someone get a bucket and a mop for me. I'm going to need it later. Right then boys, now is the moment of truth. I'm race suited up. And as we can see, it's raining. I mean, I don't think any of us have seen rain like this, have we? Pour it down. This, what would you call this? Torrential. <laughs> I don't think you should go out. It's too dangerous. It is very dangerous, <laughs> but I'm going to push through anyway. Two minutes, 55 to beat. What? One minute, 55 to beat. Any? Final words, are you going to read me my final rights? Don't hit the grass. Don't hit the grass, thank you. Jack? Uh, don't bin it. Okay, and Rich? Can I have the car if you keep it in one piece? Uh, no, absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> um, okay, you guys bugger off. Good luck. I'm going to try and not crash. All right, bye. Good, good luck. Thanks. <laughs>
am nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Just gotta relearn this track. Come on! We've got a great view up here, haven't we? Yeah, nice. Imagine like, just we've seen him slide down here on his roof over the finish line. <laughs> like Gore Ruddings. Like Gore Ruddings. <laughs> Flat through there. Yes! Oh, he's gunning it down there. Come on, Alex! Come on! I apologise if I'm not talking you through this lap. I'm currently trying to hold the shit in. With David versus Goliath, this. Is it? Which one are we? <laughs> Which one is he? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the brakes are starting to fade already. That's not good. Can you smell brakes? Yes. This needs to be flat. Come on, Alex. Is that a bunker? Like a golf bunker? Like a sand trap? Yeah. No. Oh, this is so much fun. Is this a golf course? <laughs> it looks like one. Drop all your balls on the start finish line. That's probably what Alex is doing. <laughs> Come on! That's an awful lot of time he's got to make up. What are you saying about David and Goliath? Who won out of that? <laughs> Goliath wrecked David in the end, right? I think Goliath wins nine times out of ten. Is this one of those times? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> that was 203.8. That's his first lap though, so. That is. It's quite smelly, that car. I can smell it from here. Yeah. He can pull eight seconds out of that. Right, definitely quicker. But by how much? Come on, little baguette. Do daddy proud. Is it? Is it eight seconds better? Um, not yet. 201.5. We had hours and hours and hours here. He'd be doing this in like 40 seconds. <laughs> Richard got three laps. <laughs> yeah, but Richard didn't get three laps, did he? He's probably been practicing. <laughs> it's easier for him to practice. The benefit of the sim racer setup is you can have it in your house. You jump on it whenever you want. Very true. We can't jump on Cadwell whenever we want. Oh, the rain's really starting to come down now. Oh, it's hot in here. As he beat it. <laughs> 202.1. That's worse. It's worse. That's better, that's better. What advice can we give him? Be quicker. <laughs> ah! In gear, come on! This gearbox, not the sweetest. Um, Don't be as slow. Oh God, I've lost brakes, I've lost brakes. Crush. Should we just pretend we didn't hear that? Yeah. Poor car. Let's go and find out what's Let's going see on. see what's going on. 2.02? 2.01.5. Oh god, <laughs> so far off. Yeah. I am so far yeah. off. This can be your brave lap then. Okay. The Logitech guys have said if he gets under two, they'll count it as a victory. I'd like to see at least under two. That would be good. It would be good. Come on. Right, I have brakes back, which is nice. Oh, it's really raining now. It was really raining in the game, though. What are you doing? 202. You didn't get any slower? No. Two oh one forty seven. Can really smell that car now. <laughs> and a little bit of shit. <laughs> this is better. 
That one wasn't the one. That's worse. <laughs> what point do you ask yourself whether it's the car or the driver? Mm, about now? Yeah, about now. Yeah. He's so close now. But it's raining more. It is raining and more. And there were rabbits. Yeah. And uh, brakes and stuff. Yeah. I'm going to be so happy if it starts with a one. It doesn't start with a one. No, what? <laughs> there is a one in there. I'm going out again. Really? Yeah. 20106. Why am I even bothering? I don't know. I don't know why you're bothering. Because I'm really wet. Everyone back to your positions. Okay, great. This is it. I, I know it, I can smell it, smell the victory. He's going to shave like seven seconds off of his time out of nowhere. Is he? Yeah, watch this. <laughs> this is going to be two losses on the bounce for us. What else did we lose? Volvo. Oh, yeah, but that, that was close, wasn't it? If we had more runway, but then again, if we had a faster car here, <laughs> or if we had a better driver. <laughs> yes. Come on. Come on. Come on, mate. Come on. <laughs> Come on, you bastard. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on, yeah, he's hyped now. Oh, he's hyped now. <laughs> God, so sketchy now. Yeah. That's quick though. that's like that's like a second or two quicker then, right? He's gonna annihilate that rabbit out of Oh there. shit, it's two! That would been red mist, that rabbit. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! That's all I got. I've had a f***ing great time. Cadwell Park is awesome. What a great track. Right then, it is now the end of the day. I've driven as hard as I can. The question is, did you get within five seconds? Which would count as a victory? It would, wouldn't it? You didn't. Oh. Okay. It was still 201, 06. Was was, yeah, you did improve. What's going yeah. On? Clear victory. Well done. Can't shake your hand. Glad no. I can't. Oh! Golf? No, not golf for you. Oh, okay. Golf for you. Oh, amazing. Second. First the worst, second the best, right? Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the video, watching me fail. Also, massive thank you to um, Logitech and Vex Gaming for setting us this epic challenge. Cadwell Park racetrack has been awesome, so uh, thank you very much, guys. Also, remember that you can win that epic competition. Details below in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and remember you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. Don't forget to watch more videos down there, and you can follow Logitech and Vexed over there, somewhere there. All right? Goodbye. Well played, Rich. Well played. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.